Hey everybody, this is your Digital Super Saiyan 3, back here with another video. And today, I'm gonna raise hell, because I'm counting down the top 10 Stone Cold Steve Austin matches in WWE. Yeah, so as you can tell from my shirt, I'm finally doing this video. It's been in the making for some time now, so here it is. My top 10 Stone Cold Steve Austin matches in WWE. During the Monday Night Wars, the WWE, or the WWF as it was referred to back then, was getting its ass handed to it by WCW. So, in a desperate move, a certain Texas Rattlesnake came along. And, well... He was the answer to the WWE's prayers. Let alone and behold, Stone Cold Steve Austin came and brought the Attitude Era with him. And these are his best matches ever. Number 10, Stone Cold Steve Austin vs. Dude Love at Over the Edge 1998. This was definitely better than their match at Unforgiven, but Austin and Dude Love at Over the Edge was a great match at Over the Edge 98. Austin, Dude Love, it was just awesome, especially since, you know, you had the curveball of Vince McMahon as the special guest referee. Gerald Briscoe and Pat Patterson were also involved as the special guest ring announcer and timekeeper. But also, the big shock value factor was The Undertaker as the special guest enforcer because The Undertaker inserted himself in this. It was an awesome, awesome match. Number 9, Stone Cold Steve Austin and Triple H versus Chris Benoit and Chris Jericho on the May 21st, 2001 episode of Raw's War. This was the match where Triple H tore his quads and was out for the majority of 2001 and wouldn't return until January of 2002. As Austin and Triple H were the champion were the World Wrestling Federation tag team champions taking on Chris Benoit and Chris Jericho who earned the rights the previous night to face them for the World Wrestling Federation Tag Team Titles at Judgment Day. It was an awesome match with the awesome end of the two-man power trip. Number 8. Stone Cold Steve Austin vs. The Rock from Backlash 1999. An awesome match this was. This was the rematch from WrestleMania 15, and it didn't disappoint. Austin, Rock, Shane McMahon as the special guest referee. Hell, my favorite moment in the match was when Rock commandeered a fucking TV camera, recorded, recorded Austin, and then got stunned on the announce table. It was an awesome match, and I really, really love to rewatch it again. Number 7, Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Bret Hart from Survivor Series 1996. This was a number one contenders match to determine who would get to challenge for the World Wrestling Federation Championship. Austin and Bret Hart, they tore the roof off of Madison Square Garden and they didn't disappoint. It was a match that was worth the hype and worth the the challenge that Austin laid out to heart. An awesome, awesome match. Number six. Stone Cold Steve Austin versus The Undertaker from Fully Loaded 1999. This was a first blood end of an era match where there were huge ramifications for, for Austin. If Austin did not beat The Undertaker then Austin would no longer be allowed to challenge for the World Wrestling Federation Championship. However, if The Undertaker did not beat Austin, then we would no longer see Vince McMahon on television. However, Vince McMahon was eventually brought back onto television, so yeah, the whole banishment from the company forever rule was kind of thrown out once Austin got into his program with Triple H. So, yeah, there's that. 
but it was still a fun match to watch. Number five, Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Shawn Michaels from WrestleMania 14. This is the match where Stone Cold Steve Austin finally won the World Wrestling Federation Championship, and it did not disappoint. It was an awesome match between Michaels and Austin. I mean, Michaels had hurt himself back at the Royal Rumble after being backdropped hard onto a fucking coffin during his casket match with The Undertaker. And because of that, Michaels, well, had one piece of business left, and that was to relinquish the title to Austin by losing it to Austin at WrestleMania 14. And, well, seeing Austin finally get the WWF title after all that work finally paid off. Number four. Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Kurt Angle from WWE SummerSlam 2001. This was the only invasion match on the list, but it was an awesome match, especially of who was Austin's opponent. Austin took on none other than your Olympic gold medal hero, Kurt Angle, and it was a great match. It was a great back and forth. Austin bloodied Angle. He beat the hell out of Angle, and Angle still looked like a million bucks, even while being a bloody freaking mess. Angle still came back. Even though Angle may have won the match via disqualification, you cannot deny it was still a great match. Number four, or number three, Stone Cold Steve Austin versus The Undertaker from SummerSlam 1998. The main event of SummerSlam 1998, it was a very smash mouth, well-wrestled match between The Undertaker and Stone Cold Steve Austin. And it did not disappoint in Madison Square Garden. So yeah, this match takes the number three spot. Number two, Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Bret the Hitman Hart from WrestleMania 13. This was the legendary submissions match that kind of helped make Austin into a household name. And yeah, this match kind of legitimized Austin as a top guy. I mean, Austin was busted open by Bret Hart. He was locked into Bret Hart's sharpshooter. Ken Shamrock was the special guest referee. And Austin refused to tap out. He didn't say I quit. He stopped. He just passes out in Bret Hart's sharpshooter, and it was still an awesome match. And number one, Stone Cold Steve Austin versus The Rock at WrestleMania 17 for the WWF Championship. Now, yes, this was the best out of the Austin Rock trilogy, and yeah, this lived up to the hype of being the most hyped-up match for WrestleMania, especially since it came from the best WrestleMania of all time. And yes, it did have that really shocking ending, but still, it doesn't take away from how awesome the match was. So, yeah. Anyway, this has been your Digital Super Saiyan 3, and I gotta say, if you're ready for my July pay-per-view review, give me a hell yeah! Hell yeah!